It's our own work back to Oblivion. So last time we took out some mythic dawn agents who were spying on Cloud Roller Temple, and Martin told us in order to continue the quest he needs a Daedric artifact that he can sacrifice. Now, unfortunately we don't even have a single one to our name, much less one that we don't want, so uh, yeah, we're gonna continue the Dark Brotherhood quest for now, oh, so and when we come across a Daedric Shrine and well, do the quest and the uh, reward turns out crappy, then we'll sacrifice that, but uh, yeah, like I say, for now, we're getting back to murdering people. What's up, buddy? Valen Dreth lies dead, but why the unsanctioned bloodshed? Well, shit. You seem to lack discipline. Here is your reward, but I'm afraid the bonus is forfeit. Yeah, damn it. I knew the main killing those people was going to get me in trouble. I didn't do it. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. <laughs> you just told me I did a bad job. Whatever, what is it? We're usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? Do I at least get to rough him up? Because <laughs> if so, yes. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottiere. Inside you will find Mottiere waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottiere is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people. So they have sent an enforcer to kill him. This is a bit harsh. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the Enforcer's presence. Mottieri himself will provide more details. This is an unusual contract. Mottieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. Well, naturally. If there's one thing I am, it's a professional. Uh, tell me about this special arrangement. The Dark Brotherhood is not in the business of staging deaths, no matter how much gold is offered. Sithis demands blood, and blood must be paid. Damn right. In order to accept the contract, we demanded a life. Mottiere offered his mother, and we accepted. Lucien has already taken care of that uh, detail. Wow, what a dick. Well, maybe she was a bitch, I don't really know. Poison knife. The blade has been coated with a rare poison called Langerwine. One drop in a normal human bloodstream will mimic the effects of death immediately. I have provided you with a vial of antidote, which will be used to revive Francois Mottieri after you successfully stage his death. You should also know that there's only enough Langer wine on the blade for this one contract. After Mottieri is sliced, the knife will be useless. Oh, and I was gonna test it on the maid. Okay, whatever. Let's gear. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. You just told me not to! <laughs> you told me not to kill the guy. But uh, yeah, this is one of the things I love about Oblivion. Now, I may be wrong about this, however, I'm pretty damn sure you can miss this quest up in a whole bunch of ways. For example, he said don't kill the Enforcer. That's one way you can obviously miss it up, but I'm pretty sure, and again, I may be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure this uh, Francois Motieri guy is not actually essential, which means if we attack him with the wrong thing, we can actually murder him horribly. I also think you don't have to apply the antidote, like you can just go kill him when he's actually laying there, so uh... Yeah, that's some cool shit like that, I like that type of thing. Anyway, I will see you in Coral. It's my Okay, pleasure. I learned my lesson from last time. You stay here, I do not trust you whatsoever. I guarantee she will kill the Enforcer if we have her with us. As much as I'd like to... <laughs> She's sweeping. <laughs> But yeah, as much as I'd like to take her with us, she would just kill the Enforcer, so, uh... Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the dick. No, I think... Well, in fact, you know what, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but uh, I'll explain it when it's happening, because... It's not as easy as you might think not to get the Enforcer killed, because... We're not the only one that can kill him, it's put that way. God damn, I hate lockpicking. Okay, we're in. Took long enough, god damn it. Now I'm kind of worried that the maid's gonna teleport to me because, hey, hey buddy, how's it going? Because I'm wearing the ring that teleports her, so hopefully she doesn't do that because that will screw up everything. Oh. Well, um, hello. Worried. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides His Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you. So you can fake my death. What a silly name, and yeah, I got the points. By Sithith, spit it out, you worm. Oh, sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Better be. See, when Hides His Heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. Then you cut me with the knife, and it looks like I die. 
you must then flee from Coral, and Hyde's his heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hyde's heart will be here any moment. Ain't no ready. Body, no body. Oh, Sorry. I do hope this works. Me too, I want my damn reward. Now is not the time. What? You spoke to me, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> this game. Mokieri, I know you're in there. My employers are Yoink. most displeased. I'm coming in and you can beg for your life. <laughs> not that it will do you any good. <laughs> Don't mind if I rob you, do you, buddy? Mutiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Huh? Who is this? I'm the main character. Oh no! What am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. Someone give this man an Emmy. The dark brotherhood? Oh, you have been a naughty boy, Mutiera, haven't you? Bad, Mutiera. Stand Bad. aside, assassin. Mutiera is mine. My employers demand it. Yeah, well, son of mine, I'm higher on the uh, food chain. What's this? Oh, Dark Brotherhood Assassin, please don't cut me with that wicked blade. It looks like this is the end of poor Francois. Okay, I won't. We'll see who gets to cut you, Mautier. Let me show you how a real killer operates. You Dark Brotherhood mongrel. No oh, shit, I guess I waited too long. Come back here, you. <laughs> Why you just drop down? Oh, that was amazing. Okay, so this guy's gonna try and kill us now. And yes, you're damn right we're gonna rob Modieri, because apparently he don't mind. And you know what? I'm okay with that. You do a lot of damage, sir. That's a very bad lizard man. <laughs> right, see what this guy's got. But uh, yeah, basically we have to run away now. And obviously this guy's gonna follow us. And good lord is he persistent as far as I remember. Like, you have to run a long way out of coral. And uh, the guards are gonna try and take him on the way out. So we have to be really quick about it, because if the guards kill him... We lose yeah. the uh, bonus. It doesn't matter if we killed him. It doesn't matter if the maid kills him. If he dies, he dies. That's all they care about. So, uh, yeah, we have to be really quick in our coral and then be even quicker to actually get away from the guy because, like say, he's going to chase me the balls down continuously. Is there anything else around here? We didn't actually check up here, did we? Well, we did kind of briefly. This guy has, like, nothing. For a dude with, like, a million chests, he's got absolute junk. Like, what are you keeping in these days? Hey, we found something. Stop it. It's a bad... <laughs> It's a bad hides his heart. Whatever you damn. Hey, we got. <laughs> we got a light armor of bugs. He beat me up so much. Thanks, buddy. You've been most helpful. Now get out of my way. See you, jerk ass. Okay, let's go. <laughs> See, I love quests like this. It's kind of silly as hell, but it's half the fun of the game. Right, so anyway, where the hell did I leave the maid and where are the exits? Because, uh, okay, it looks like there's an exit down here. Where did I leave the maid? I don't think I left her by that gate. I'm pretty sure I left her by the north one. I think we're going out the south one, but, uh... Yeah, we can always run away and come back. She shouldn't actually go anywhere, because the other maid didn't when I told her to leave me alone when we were in, uh, Kavach, or the Kavach ruins. She was still there sweeping when I came back, you know, like, 20 freaking days later. So there you go. Longest load screen of all time. Of apparently a drunk person. Or possibly dead. I, I don't really know. Finally, holy shit. Well, the game is done on me. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, say, this is the other problem. He's still following me. We're not in... Is it? Yeah, okay, he is. We're not in Coral, but there are guards... There's an Oblivion portal over there, okay? We're not in Coral, but there are guards outside of Coral, did my, you know, defending the gate. So, uh, they're gonna try and chase him down as well. So, we have to get distance, not between just me and him, but him and the guards. So, yeah, it's kind of a jump pain in the dick not to get this guy killed. However, we are extremely quick, so... That's very handy. If you're running along very slowly in, you know, heavy tanky armor... Kinda makes it a giant pain in the dick, so if you're having trouble with this, just take your armor off. He's gonna beat the crap out of you, but it's better than, you know, him dying. Okay, looks like we're out of range. Right, let's go straight back to Coral, pick up the maid, and then go back to, uh, Lucien Lachan. In fact, no, what's his damn name? Vin Vincente? The freaking vampire guy. Let's go back to the vampire guy and give him the news. In fact, wait a minute, what the hell am I talking about? We have to... <laughs> go on. And there you are, sweeping. We have to, uh, go save the guy from the undercroft, don't we? Have to give him the antidotes. Almost forgot about that. Right, so, what does the journal say? Uh, okay, so we have to wait like 24 hours or something, and then go to the Uncorp. Okay, well, fair enough, right? Well, give me a moment here. Okay, I've been waiting like 30 hours now or something, and, uh, I assume he's in there. The journal hasn't updated, but, uh, 
There was two red arrows before, I think one of them was probably the Undercroft and the other one might have been his body. I think there's only one arrow now, so... I'm assuming the guy's been moved, but since the journal hasn't updated, I don't really know. But you know, it should have been enough time by now, so... I guess we shall see. Either way, we're supposed to go in here, so... He damn well better be in here, that's all I'm saying. I do not know why the load screens are so damn long in this game, I mean... Don't get me wrong, the game's not my solid state drive, but god damn! This game runs worse for me than Skyrim does, which is kind of a goddamn ridiculous, because obviously Skyrim looks a lot better and it's a lot newer. Plus, I have way more graphics mods on that than I do on this one, so... There you go, really piss-poor PC ports. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How's it going? Alright, we've applied... Get up, you lazy son of a bitch! We've got things to do! <laughs> oh, I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Morning Glory. Ah, yes, the Undercroft. My family members are buried here, you know. Which um, leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. This Undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their resting place. Well, boars. I can hear them coming as we speak. You must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of Coral. Ah, here they come. Oh, my, Aunt Margaret. You're looking the worse for wear. <laughs> this guy. So, yeah, apparently he's uh, a... Uh, uh, what the hell? He just freaking karate chopped that guy. But, uh, yeah, I do remember this now. His ancestors or, you know, zombies come to life. What confuses me, though, is they're coming to life because we're desecrating the guy's tomb because he's a family member. If that's the case, why the hell do they attack you? It seems a bit dickish to me. And good lord me, don't be using fire around Motieri. Yes, set him on fire and kill him or at least aggro him. And yes, I'm pretty damn certain, like 99.9% .9 sure Motieri can die here to the zombies, which is another problem I tend to have. So I almost shot you, which is another problem I tend to have here. So you have to be really careful and, you know, be really quick about killing these guys. Luckily, we're a pretty damn decent level considering I normally do this game, or at least, you know, 10 years ago when I played, well, I guess the game's like eight years old, but you get my points. A long time ago, the last time I played this game, I was probably like level two or three or something when I did this quest and the zombies were a lot harder than they are now. So we got away with that fairly easily, but uh, a much lower level, it's pretty goddamn tough. Then we have the problem of trying to get... Who the hell is that guy? We have the problem of trying to get these two idiots to follow me out of a door, which probably ain't gonna happen first try, but we shall see, I guess. Is it gonna work? Oh, there's Modieri. Holy shit. It worked. Right, so anyway, we have to take him to the Grey Mare, I think, which I believe is in Coral somewhere. Don't know why he only wants us to take him there, but there you go. Is it over here? I think so. Yes, seems like we're going in the right direction. I cannot believe I can actually remember this stuff. My memory is shitty. Like, really bad. Speaking of memory, I think there's a good question here, too. Ah, the Grey Mare. From here I will be able to arrange for transportation out of Cyrodiil. You have served me well, assassin. Francois is forever in your debt. Farewell. You could at least reward me, god damn. Annoying creature. You haven't seen my sons, have you? What's not with you? I knew it, and I think I remember the reward for this as well. I've been warring with the Redoran of Morrowind. What a shame. More fighting for the Nords? Go away, fool. This is sad news. There's no need to be Go that away, way. fool. Goodbye. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> my sons. Have you seen my sons? Man, Oaks are dicks. Sons. Yes. Rallis and Antis. They're going to fight off the creatures at our farm, but I fear for their safety. Yep, I remember this quest very well, because it's actually kind of hard to do, and the reward's good. For the last few days, we've suffered attacks from these creatures at our farm not far from Coral. They're coming from someplace in the Great Forest. I don't know where, but Rallis may know more by now. My boys will take up the fight, even if the guards won't. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's outside the town walls, it still affects us all. They're here. They expect me to go with them, but I... I fear in my old age I'm not the warrior I once was. But you just you, said that... Would you go in my place? Well, you're a huge hypocrite. You just said everyone should help. Whatever, I would do it. Somehow, I knew you'd do the right thing. I'm supposed to meet them at Wayne and Priory. You'd best get whatever supplies you need now, so you can get there in time. I... I need a drink to calm my nerves. Please, excuse me. 
Yeah, that's right. You get drunk what your son's done. You are a terrible father, and I really hate orcs in this game. They're all giant dicks. Thanks again, assassin. Your services have been invaluable. Soon I will find passage out of Cyrodiil and be rid of those moneylenders forever. No. I was hoping you'd reward me, you suck. Right, so anyway, let's go to the farm and find out where the hell the suns are, because, uh, yeah, like I say, it's kind of hard to actually do this and, you know, pull it off properly. I don't really want to spoil it, but if you do it properly, you get a good reward. If you don't, you just don't. Simple as that. So, anyway, let's go find the farm. Well, I do believe I've found them. At least I think I have. Yeah, looks like I don't know whether they're here or not in a farm. Keep up, mate, for Christ's sakes. We've got shit to do. What's up, gentlemen? Calm down. You'll be leaving soon enough. I just can't wait. This is going to be the greatest fight ever. This is no joke, Antis, and it's nothing to be excited about. If you don't want to be doing this, then why are you even here? Father and I can handle this. No, he's getting drunk. Here because even though I'm afraid, I know that we have to do this. Father would feel the same way. Father's not scared. Don't you dare say that. You'll see what he gets here. I'll ask you, and then you'll see. Eh, I won't be so sure, buddy. Why isn't Father here? He knows how important this is. Because he's in a bar busy getting plastered. What do you mean he's not coming? He told you to come with us instead? Has he no honor? No, no, apparently not. I am so old, I can't help. I'm afraid I have no time for small talk, friend. I'm waiting for my father, Valis Odil. Have you seen him in town by any chance? Yes, once again, he's drunk of his ass. He sent me, because I'm awesome. He's not coming with us? I think I understand, and it is better that he remains safe. I wonder why he has asked you to take his place. We went over this. I'm awesome. You would join us, though you have no personal stake in this fight? <laughs> An honorable deed. I gladly accept your help, then. There's no point in waiting here any longer. Follow me. Yeah, let's do this, brother. And once again, I'm only doing this for the reward, but don't tell them that. And I just saw another Oblivion Gate up there. Good lord, those things are everywhere. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm... What the hell? In the name of our father. What are you doing? Go to the farm, you slow sons of bitches. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty damn sure the farm's like uh, a mile down the road, so I may do a cut here. Depends how long it takes for us to get there. And don't get in their way, maid. You gotta slow them down even more for... What are you doing? Go. Okay, we has just about arrived, and good lord, this thunder is kind of annoying the crap out of me. Ha ha! Got on the house. And again, our jump is nowhere near the maximum, like, probably like a third of the maximum, so... You can imagine just how freaking high you can jump in this game. It ends up like Hidden Tiger Crouching Dragon... Uh, the other way around. You know what I mean. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. It ends up like that. You jump over roofs and shit, it's all kind of weird anime-ish. I kind of love it. Go, go over the fence. And... <laughs> no, I can't get over a fence. What the hell? Oh, come on. Well, apparently my jump ain't as good as I thought it was. Finally! And the maid hopefully should teleport in here, because otherwise we are going to be screwed. Right, so anyway, I believe we are going to get bum-rushed by like a gazillion monsters here, and if we don't fight them off, these guys can die, and if they die, you don't get the good reward. I think you get like some gold or something, maybe even nothing, not entirely sure, but... Uh, yeah, suffice to say, we have to keep these idiots alive and it ain't gonna be that easy. In fact, it's probably gonna be a giant pain in the dick. Luckily, we have the maid to deal with us, but... Yeah, as you can see, there's some tough freaking goblins here, like, really tough. We might even run into goblin warlords and... Suffice to say, those guys are a giant pain in the dick. The berserk is, I think, might be the second highest goblins, not entirely sure, but, uh... Yeah, either way, I'm, like, half dead already, so... That's a thing. Get what the hell? I'm trying not to hit everybody. Thank you. Right, guys, how are you doing? They're okay. Now, I think you can actually use healing spells on them, because, you know, they're NPCs. I don't see why you couldn't, but unfortunately, we don't have any, so, uh, yeah, they kind of just have to survive on what they have, and also, I have to survive, and right now, there's like a whole bunch of skirmishes and wolves beating the crap out of me, so, if you could save me, that would be handy. I know I'm supposed to be saving you, but the tables are kind of turning here. To be fair, I'm working as the cannon fodder. I'm the distraction. I'm distracting them with my face, and it's working quite well, because, uh, oh, God. You look huge. Okay, so maybe the ambushes are the the, uh, the most powerful ones besides the warlords, because that guy's freaking gigantic, which can't scare the crap out of me. We need to kill him before he gets to them, because he'll probably destroy them very, very quickly. Again, I'm I'm working as a very good distraction here. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Stop it. You set me on fire. God damn it. 
Okay, did she set them on fire? I don't think she did. Oh my god. Okay, is that everybody? I think it is. Holy shit. I think we actually did it. God damn, that was dangerous. Let's go see my father and let him know of our victory. I think you mean my victory. <laughs> we beat them. We slaughtered them all. Did you see? Did you see how well I fought? <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? You did okay for an NPC. You actually kind of put up somewhat of a fight, which frankly shocked the hell out of me. Anyway, I'm going to loot these sons of bitches very quickly. They probably ain't got very much because, you know, they're kind of monsters. And monsters tend to not have as good loot as bandits, which is kind of strange, but I guess there's some kind of logic there. Anyway, so I'm going to loot them very quickly. Then we'll go back to uh, the other fellow whose name I've already forgotten and get our badass sword reward. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Creature. Shut up, Orc. You're back. And you've brought my sons with you. How wonderful! Wunderbar! Now about that reward. Uh, sons. My boys are safe. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for sticking with them and helping a foolish old man. A drunk Please, foolish old man! Take this. I won't be needing it any longer. My battles are over. Yeah, apparently so. I plan to live out my days on the farm in peace and quiet. Drunk off my ass, watching porn and smoking weed. Thank you. So you see, we got Chillren, which is like a unique kind of icy type sword. I believe it's also in Skyrim. I can't remember how the hell you get it. I think it's related to the Thieves Guild, but uh, there you go. Now it just kind of looks like a glass sword, but blue, but still. That's cool enough for me, no Morning. pun intended. Yes. Anyway, uh, now What's that we've saved them, you? what the hell's there going are on with these guys? The are I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to, uh, I can I can never remember the guy's name. Like, what the hell? Vincente, the, the vampire guy. We'll go back to the vampire guy and uh, hand in our contracts and get the next one. Ah, found ya. Ah, so Mottieri has escaped. Well done. As payment, I am pleased to award you this amulet, Cruelty's Heart, as well as another advancement in rank. Sweet. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Eliminator. Your blood is cold, your heart hard. You exemplify everything the Dark Brotherhood stands for. Oh, you. I present to you now this key. It unlocks the well behind the abandoned house above. Use it to gain hidden, quick access to this sanctuary. Oh, finally, about damn time. Well, now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? Yeah. I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on, and is waiting for you as we speak. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? Oh no, you come in with those fangs and I'm gonna kick you in your 400 year old vampiric bulls. It's terrible. It's just terrible. Yes, I can understand your trepidation. For it is not every day one is invited to join the ranks of the undead, eh? If you ever change your mind, fear not. My offer will always be open. Simply return and speak to me about the dark gift and we can proceed. Or you know not. Now don't get me wrong, it's kind of cool being a vampire, but at the same time, the fact that you take sun damage nearly Spill all of the time kind of makes the game unplayable in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, like I say, there are some cool perks to it, but the, the sun damage just ruins the whole thing for me. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. I'm gonna miss that guy. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. Fantastic. Hit me, lizard baby. In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? An elf is a pothead, eh? I'll do it. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Phalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. I'm getting stoned off his ass. Unfortunately, that's all we know. 
We don't know which district he calls home, which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. Ah, yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? Uh, maybe? Philida, that self-righteous lapdog! Quite. Then you know he has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood, and doesn't appreciate when we operate within the Imperial City. When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? Yes, quite. If possible, do away with failing in some place out of the way, definitely indoors with no other people around, a secure location with no witnesses. Like a Limbiscuit concert? This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Sithis go with you. Fantastic. Okay, before we end the video, I want to check out the Crotis Heart Amulet very quickly, because I could be wrong, but I got a feeling this thing's actually quite good. I know we're already wearing one. Willpower 8 and Strength 8, yeah, that's pretty good. What are we wearing? Uh, Forge Master's Amulets. Yeah, but it's a whole bunch of stuff, but not by much. Yeah, we'll go with the Crotis Heart, plus it's worth more, so logic says it's probably better. Anyway, I'm going to end it here next time we take out the Pothead Elf. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Oblivion.